Hey Harmonizers, welcome to this video where I'm going to show you guys our freestyle at the 2020 makeover. So it was actually in 2021, but it's the 2020 class because the makeover didn't happen in 2020 due to the pandemic. So this what I'm showing you here is our freestyle practice. So you get 10 minutes in the ring um, to do your thing just once. So you really don't have um, time to do anything twice. You just kind of go in, do your setup, and you get to do your routine. So here we are practicing. I started off with bridalist driving into the routine. Then I have somebody come over and help me uh, get everything kind of off and start off with my Liberty stuff. And as that's going on, the truck is still driving around and just kind of getting rid of some obstacles. And I come in to do my couple little Liberty tricks that we had practiced at home. Now this is our first time going through the whole routine with the people that we had down there, just because when we got down to Kentucky, we don't have all of the same people. And then here is where things start to go south. Alessia's like, I don't know how to do backup by the tail, even though we've practiced this a million times at home. And I even was practicing backup by a tail while we were in the ring just during regular schooling. But this is the only opportunity we have to practice with the props. And it's her only time to be in the arena by herself. So this is a pretty big deal. The only opportunity I have to kind of go through this and figure out how this is all gonna work. And she's just like, no, I'd rather just leave. She's not doing anything super awful, but she's definitely not focusing and not able to do the tricks that I'm asking her to do. And we only get to be in the ring for this uh, 10 minutes, which includes the setup and the takedown of everything. So then I say, all right, I'm going to go and try to do our tricks and just carry on with the routine because we really don't have time. Like I can't mess around with, you know, training back up by a tail. And then I try to do our little capriole and she's like, no, can't really put that together for you. So I'm like, all right, so that's not working well either. Now we're going to do our lay down and here she's just a little bit stressed so she kind of fights me a little bit on the lay down not horribly like she is um at liberty and i'm just picking up her foot there asking for the lay down but this is taking way too long to get a lay down it's going to be way too rushed to be able to get everything done you can see she's not laying down right away so as i'm doing all of this like i only have the few minutes in the ring to do this pattern once I have to try to make the best of it as I can and even earlier in the day there was schooling in the ring but with other people in the ring and she had laid down on here no problem and we had no issues whatsoever but then when we came in by herself at the end she's like you know not wanting to do all of the tricks and cool things that she can do so I end up making a uh, revision to how this freestyle is going to go I'm going to let you guys watch the rest of our little practice here and then I'll play for you guys without a voiceover. I'll let you guys just watch and see how the actual performance went for our prelim round. And this part with the tarp, you know, she was really good at and the bridalist part went really well. So I made the decision to try to do um, mostly just bridalist riding because she was more reliable. There are compulsory tasks that you have to do. So for example, this is my trot figure eight, which is one of the compulsory moves that you have to do. It's just kind of a neat way of doing the figure eight. You also have to do a canter circle to the right and left, as well as a change of lead through a change of direction. And you have to do a halt and a backup of a minimum of four steps. So those are the compulsory moves. And this is kind of how we planned things originally. We're like, oh, that works pretty well. It was really just the ground tricks, which are not compulsory moves. So when you're doing a freestyle, you want to kind of think, you know, what does my horse do well? It's not the time to do things that your horse struggles with a little bit. So when you guys watch what we actually did for our freestyle, you'll notice that I tried to play to my horse's strengths and I cut out the things that she was unreliable on. But what you'll also see is that the tarp kind of catches some air. So when I pass through the tarp the third time to complete our figure eight, she actually kind of trips on the big bubble of air that's caught under the tarp and we end up kind of stopping. So I'm like, okay, we'll have to make some changes with that. And uh, you'll also notice that they cut our time short. So they made a mistake, the announcer made a mistake on our time because my song is perfectly five minutes. 
but they announced it at like four minutes in. So we kind of really rushed to get out of there, but we got all the compulsories done. So I did end up still finishing in first place with a 13 point lead for the prelim round. So take a look at our freestyle. This is now the real event happening here. You can see the setup all happening. I'm just gonna let you guys watch and enjoy how it all kind of goes down and the crew that's putting it all together here. And this was the prelim round and I'll share with you guys the video later of the finale, a different video each day. So enjoy this.
Chao Chao.